Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are going to be converting mixed numbers into improper fractions today. So I'm going to go over a quick recap of what mixed numbers are, what improper fractions are, and then converting between them. It'll be a pretty quick lesson today. So a mixed number is um, a fraction and a whole number. Here are some examples of mixed numbers. They're just a number with a fraction. 2 and 3 eighths, 1 and 1 fifth, 1 and 3 sevenths. Those are just examples. So you can see you have the whole number and then you have a fraction. Improper fractions, however, are something I call top heavy fractions, and that's when you have a larger number in the numerator than you have in the denominator 11 over 3, 19 over 5. These are numbers where the numerator or the top is larger than the denominator or the bottom number. All right, so what we're going to be doing today is converting between these numbers. We are going to convert from an, a mixed number into an improper fraction. So just some bit of, a bit of an understanding. You can see the picture I have here. This represents two whole rectangles and three-eighths of a rectangle. So I would write that as two and three-eighths. This is my mixed number. I have a whole number and I also have a fraction. 2 and 3 eighths. We could represent this as 2 plus 3 eighths. It means the same thing. I could break it down one step further and say it's 1 plus 1 plus 3 eighths. And you can see visually that that kind of makes sense. I have one rectangle plus one rectangle plus 3 eighths. Now I'm doing this in kind of a ridiculous way, but just to show you the understanding of what we're doing. Now, the other thing I could do, I could go one step further and say 1 plus 1 plus 3 eighths can instead be 8 eighths plus 8 eighths plus 3 eighths. Let me show you what that would look like visually because this is the step that might be a little bit confusing. 8 eighths is the same thing as 1. One rectangle would be 8 parts out of 8 parts. And you can see that visually here. 8 parts out of 8, 8 parts out of 8, and then 3 parts out of 8. And this is essentially what we're doing when we convert from a mixed number into an improper fraction. So instead of saying I have 2 whole rectangles and 3 eighths of a rectangle, you would say I have 19 eighths of a rectangle. All right? It means the same thing but it's written in a different way. It's written as an improper fraction. So you can see that represented there. If you count up all of the little squares inside of the rectangles, I would have 19 eighths. Okay, eight in the first, eight in the second, and then also three in, in the next one. So let's take a look at mathematically. We're not going to do this for every single time. We're gonna actually do the math of converting. Now I wanted to leave the visual there and also leave the equation um, up in the top corner so you can see it. But instead of doing it the way we just did it, every time we do this we're just going to follow two pretty basic steps. One is that we take our denominator 8 and we multiply it times the whole number. 8 times 2. 8 times 2 gives us 16. That's important because that's the number of these small little squares. 16. And that's how we get this total number here. But then we have to add on the leftover 3. So we're going to add the numerator and that will give us our final answer of 19 over 8. That's where that comes from and that's how the math can actually help us do it. So from now on we are not going to write it out, we're not going to draw pictures, we're just going to do these two steps. The denominator times the whole number the whole, and then we're going to take that result and add on the numerator. And I'll write it out like this for each of the practice ones we do. So let's practice with 5 and 6 sevenths. We're going to do 5, 7 times 5, and then we're going to add 6. So 7 times 5 is 35. 35 plus 6 gives us 41. So we have a total of 41 over 7. That's how it works. It's pretty straightforward when you actually do the math. Go ahead and pause the recording and try this one out. 3 and 5 elevenths. Try and solve that one. Welcome back. Hopefully you tried to solve that one. We did 11 times 3, which gives you 33. And then you add 5 onto that, and you'll get 38. So it gives you a total of 38 over 11. That's it. That is it for converting from a mixed number 
into an improper fraction. I did not cover what would happen if you got um, if there was a common factor and you had to simplify it down to lowest terms. We didn't do that in this lesson, but you can check out another video if you want to look at another um, of how to reduce fractions to lowest terms. All right, this was just looking at mixed numbers, improper fractions, and then converting from a mixed number into an improper fraction. Hope that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.